Ahoy, mateys! Be you ready for a tale of pirates, vampires, and eternal love. Vampires have always been very popular, even if they don't have a very easy time of it. God's constant search for blood, having to keep our identity a secret, covering up the fact you've been alive for a few centuries, that sort of thing. It's even worse when you're laid wrangling under a curse, which is what happened in 1990 when a Italian director decided to combine two of the things most popular in the late 80s, vampires and rock and roll. Ladies and gentlemen, Rockula. <laughs> Our story begins with Ralph Levy, who's been around for about 400 years and not your typical vampire. Sure, he feeds on blood, but he doesn't hunt down victims, and he's got a rather interesting home life. Trying to practice. Honey, could you do me a favor and lock up tonight? I'm gonna date with a very nice man. Who is it this time, Mom? Well, I'm not sure yet, but I will know him when I see him. Oh, I always forget. Mom, I've always meant to ask you, how do you put your makeup on? Practice. Well, at least we see that vampires don't have reflections in this movie. Well, most vampires. Hey, Ralph. Ralphie. What do you want? Come here and talk to me. Is that a new retainer? Yeah, it hurts like heck. I... I'm sorry. I know this legend thing is tough. Let's take a moment and reflect. Reflect! Get it? Mirror, reflect! God, I kill myself! Reflect. Real funny. Sometimes I really hate that guy. What am I saying? He's me. I guess that means I hate myself. Why am I confused? Well, Ralph is the only one who's confused so far. So he decides to do the audience a favor by going to his local bar and indulging in a Bloody Mary and heaping amounts of exposition. Let me see if I can get this straight. Around the middle of the 16th century, you... 17th, right? Right. Whenever. A long time ago. You met this girl, you fell in love, but there was a problem, she had a boyfriend. A pirate. A pirate? Pirate. Whatever. Now, she loved you, right? So you were gonna slip off, get married, when old Pedlade finds out, has a shit fit and comes after you. Fist as hell. I just established his mental state. So there's a fight. Pedlade loses his sword, and what's her name gets killed by a blow to the head with a ham bone. Mona. Her name is Mona. Whatever. You tried to save her, but what could you do in the face of 20 pissed-off pirate friends of Peg Legs who are going to turn you into bat meat and so you beat it? He escaped by the skin of his teeth. Right. And since she was killed before you could fulfill your preordained lack... Before he could give her that final, fatal kiss and turn her into a vampire. Whatever. She is now reincarnated every 22 years until you two can get it right, right? Right. And so tomorrow, you are going to meet her, as you've done every 22 years. You'll fall in love, and unless you save her, this crazed pirate with a rhinestone peg leg will kill her. On Halloween. You got it. I don't know your name. 
You don't know my name. Just pretend this never happened, okay? Just forget you ever saw me, okay? Because the next thing you know, we're going to go out on a date, we're going to fall in love, and then some crazy pirate's going to peg you with a ham bone. Ralph is still determined not to let the curse get to him, but that night he has a prophetic musical dream. <laughs> Dumbly determined to save Mona from her terrible fate, he decides to track her down. You're gonna go out in the sunlight. I'm protected. Brave man. How are you gonna find her? She's in a band. How hard could she be to find? Ralph, there must be 15,000 bands in the tri-state area. That's a lot of ground. How are you gonna cover it? I'm a vampire. I'll fly. No! 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 Ow! 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 I think I'll take the bus. What a loser. He does manage to find her, and after seeing her on stage, he meets her backstage. And we find out that 400 years have not exactly improved his social skills. Why are you following me? I'm, I'm not following you. Yes, you are. Okay, I'm following you. I'm a big fan of yours from way back. Since she is unlikely to believe that he's a 400-year-old vampire, he tells her he's in a band. What's the more problem with that, though? He doesn't have a band. How can I save her if I can't even talk to her? Maybe I'll see her band sometime, she says. What a joke. Why don't you... Why don't you... Start my own band. You're starting a rock band? A vampire in a rock band. What are you going to call it? Rockula? Rockula! Rockula! They hit it off quite well and have a few dates. One person, however, is not pleased with the situation. Stanley, Mona's manager and would-be boyfriend. I see a girl. Her name is uh, Mona. Yeah, right where I'm my girlfriend. I mean, my ex-girlfriend. Oh, I see her with another man. That little twerp. You should not call people names, Stanley. Oh, right, sorry. She thinks she loves him, but she really loves you, Stanley. Really? Yes, but she is under his spell. Spell? Spell, Stanley. For this, he's no ordinary man. He is a vampire. A vampire? A vampire, Stanley. Yours is no ordinary destiny. I knew it. Don't interrupt. It is your destiny to save Mona. Yes, but how can I do it? Stanley, your business is dead. Your life is dead. Your destiny is dead. You must kill her, Stanley. Yes? Yes. And then she will be all yours. I could mount and stuff her. She will be your sleeping princess. Yes, yes, I see it. I can freeze her cryogenically. Oh, I suppose they will wear. She'll be mine. All mine forever. When do I do it? It must be done on Halloween. Right. But there is one catch, though. You must dress as a pirate. A pirate? A pirate. With a rhinestone peg leg. A rhinestone peg leg? A rhinestone peg leg. And you must dispatch her with a ambon. Ambon. Okay, 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 okay. Ambon. Ralph is still finding it difficult to tell Mona the truth about the relationship, so his mother decides to take matters into her own hands. 
This is my mother. Hi, it is so nice to meet you. Meet me. No, not here. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, just let me look at you. Oh, it's so nice to see the two of you together again. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, well, we have to be going. Oh, well, I won't keep you, but we must have Mona over for dinner. Mom. I would love to. Mona. Thursday night? Can't Thursday night Mona's videos premiering? Well, we could go after. After? Thursday night it is then. Believe this. Well, I have to run now. I have a meeting with my lady social. It's pistol range night. I'm really getting too bad about this. Practice, practice, practice. Does anybody go bowling anymore? The night of Mona's uh, video premiere, Stanley is uh, apparently gone pretty far over the deep end, and uh, it's not exactly subtle in his attempts to deal with Ralph. Stanley, why are you wearing garlic around your neck? Oh, this is in honor of Ralph here, or should I say, uh, Rook here. It's pretty uh, pungent, wouldn't you say, Ralphie? It smells great. I love garlic. Yes, you might say I have a, a stake in what happens to you. I mean, I think. Rockula's gonna take off like a bat out of hell, but the world is full of bloodsuckers, and I would hate for anything to happen to you. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yes. 18th century, right? 19th. Mona's video, co-starring Ralph, is a great success, but Stanley is not one to let the limelight slip away, and does a commercial for his, uh, Funeral parlor, Stanley's Death Park. Miss that nagging loved one. No longer with the recorder 6000. You just close your eyes and listen. Harold, have you been drinking again? Was it you who left the toilet seat up? My mother was right. Better than a wool hair coat and a crown of thorns. Realistic? Don't take my word for it. It's been three years since my lovely Cloris left me. But with Recorder 6000, I have yet to miss her deprecating banter. Thank you, Elmo. That was lovely. Now, here's something new. Relatives disapprove of your lifestyle? Invest in the Rotary 600, the device that keeps those loved ones turning over in their grave. Amazing. Dinner with Ralph's mother is odd. Not only does she make no secret of the fact she's been alive for centuries, talking about things like George Washington's uh, lack of uh, promise in bed, but the evening culminates in this. <laughs> After that display, Ralph figures it's finally time to tell Mona the truth. I'm a vampire. And I'm the bride of Frankenstein. No, seriously, Mona, it's the truth. I'm not a bad vampire. I am a bad vampire. I'm not very good at it. I don't bite people, but I am a vampire. You remember this? You said you did back at the house. I do. I remember that from somewhere. 1786. What? You owned it in 1786. You want to see what it looked like? I'm not sure. And here's you in 1918. No, wait a minute. So that means that... that you are? Yes. And that I'm? Yep. And that we're... You got it. Mm -hmm. Nah. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Okay, I didn't want to do this, but you leave me no choice. Then watch close. I haven't done this in years. I'm not very good at it, so bear with me. Hi. Ah. Mona. Mona, it's me. Ah. Ah. Mona. This is just too much. No, no, Mona, it's okay. All you have to do is make it to All Saints Day. Yeah, stay away from me. 
No, no, you have no choice. I love you. You love me. If you don't listen to me, you're gonna die. And we're gonna have to do this all over again in 22 years. I don't love you, Ralph. I don't. Mona. Mona. Huh. I guess Ralph should have ended with that vampire bat bit. They avoid each other for a few days until Halloween night, when Ralph shows up for a concert, hoping that Mona will as well. Someone else is also hoping Mona will show up. Stanley. Madame Benoit, is that you? Hello, Madame Benoit. I've got everything ready, the liquid nitrogen, everything. All I need is... Wow. Real rhinestones. Do you think she's going to be here, Madame Benoit? Are you doubting, Madame Benoit? Oh, no, 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 no. Do I sense that you are wavering from your destiny? No, Madame Benoit. Do you love Mona more than life itself? <gasps> yes. And you will save her from the vampire. Yes, Madame Benoit. Yes, yes. You remember. Before midnight. Gosh, what a surprise. I am totally shocked by this unexpected turn of events. Having realized that she actually does love Ralph, Mona comes on stage for a romantic reunion, but is carried off by Stanley up to the attic. Stanley, is that a handball? I think chopped liver. Handball. Pirate. Halloween. What's a good word? You save her yet? So Stanley's got her and they've disappeared. Typical. What's typical? That the damsel's in distress and you're caught sleeping at the gate behind the eight ball a day late and a dime short. Sometimes I really hate you. Oh, thanks a lot. And I'm just going to tell you where she is. Where? Where? Where is she? But now I'm not going to. Tell me where is she? Not until you apologize. I apologize! Who's your best friend in the whole world? I'm sorry, what, 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 what? I can't hear you. You are! Tell me where she is! All right, you go out that door, you make a left, there's some access stairs. Hmm. It's gonna be close. Ralph is finally ready to stand up for himself and fight for his love. And to work through some personal issues. This time, pirate loses all my life. I've been pushed around by punks like you. No one ever believed in me. I never even believed in myself. That centuries walk away is so pity. I was such a weakling. I couldn't even take a cold. The only person who believed in me was my mother. God bless her. And it weren't for that woman. Oh, Ralph, I'm sorry. Oh, Madame Benoit. Mrs. Levy. Madame Benoit. Mom. Rocky. I thought I was doing the right thing, but now I know I was wrong. I mean, you were behind this the whole time. You were my little boy. I didn't want you to leave home. Now I know you're all grown up. You're in this together! Die, vampire scum! Ow! Ow! That was my mother you just boned. Best line ever. Nothing can stop me now. No! Not so fast! You leave me no choice, Stanley! So Mona is safe, the curse is broken, and they can go off and live happily ever after. But what about Ralph's reflection? Hey, did you get her? Ralph! Come on, I'm ready! Don't leave me! Ralph! Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. Ralph, where are you? Ralph, come on, I'm locked in here! Ralph! Okay! Okay, fine! Go with this. Uh! So that was Rockula. How was it? 
insane, but awesome. No one in this movie is taking it in the least bit seriously. It's also a lot of fun to see major musical stars taking roles in this film. For example, at the back of the bar, you may have noticed the great Bo Diddley, as well as the fact that Tony Basil plays Ralph's mother, and Thomas Dolby is Stanley. The curse is a bit odd, though. Apparently, Ralph was always destined to be with Mona, so she's reincarnated every time she's killed. But it was Ralph's mother who was arranging the death every single time. Overall, though, I'd say it's absolutely hilarious. The jokes are just plain bizarre. The digs at vampire lore, like going out in the sunlight so long as you're protected by a sunblock, or the no reflection except in Ralph's case, presumably in another aspect of the curse, are very well done. And I like the fact that while Ralph may be a bloodsucker, he gets his blood by uh, Red Cross donations rather than going out and biting people in the neck. I also love the final ending. Usually in a case like this where you have a hero talking to their reflection, the reflection is the better part of their nature, offering advice and comfort. In this case, Reflection Ralph is most definitely the id, selfish and only, only out for himself. And the fact he just gets bored of waiting, smashes his way out and takes Ralph's place on stage dressed as Elvis is just perfect. Overall, I'd say this movie is deserving of five out of five maple leaves. It's bizarrely insane, but also a hell of a lot of fun. I'm Sam Kennedy Creek, and I'm off to pillage and plunder. Arr. Yeah, found it in a uh, second-hand shop. Funny thing, the owner was very reluctant to sell it to me. Said it was possessed by the spirit of an old pirate captain. <laughs> Tis a wise tale to be sure.